All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a cool Tinker Cat Pizza training. We are going to make some super fast spinner caps. First, I'd like you to bring out a cylinder and I'd like you to turn it to 18 by 18 for the size of the spinner caps. Shrink it to one millimeter thick by clicking that one and typing a one. Press enter and then do control D to duplicate so that you've got two of them spread out. It does not hurt to align them as it makes the rest of the project easier. You want them aligned that way. Now I want to add this little ring that pushes them up off the bearing just a little bit. Go down and find your tube. Drag your tube out. I have found that changing these numbers to 5 and 1.5 works really well. Uh, make two of those. Leave the rest the same. And with it set to 5 and 1.5, make it 2 millimeters thick. And then move them over and duplicate them and put them in the centers using the same trick. Now we're going to make a male and a female end so that our spinner pieces can clip together. Let's start with the male end. Drag a cylinder out, and I'd like you to make his measurements 5.75, 5.75. Make it 6 high because I do want it to come all the way to the bottom and then group those pieces so that they are together. So it's now a one piece part. For the female side, I want you to bring out a cylinder. I want you to change its measurements to 7.8 by 7.8. Remember you can do that by just clicking the corners, type in 7.8 and press and enter, type in 7.8 and press and enter on that side. Make sure it is seven high and get it arranged so that it's in the center by moving it in, selecting all those parts, and using the Align tool to align them up. Use Control D to duplicate that little fella, and we want to set its sides to 6 by 6. So we just click the corners and of course type 6 by 6. And we turn it into a hole and then we want to raise it up two millimeters so that it doesn't cut all the way through. Take those two parts and get them centered on each other. I'm going to do it just like this by using that align tool. I'll show you again how it works. And now they are centered and I can move them into place on my shape. You want to group them last so that when you group the whole item together by using group, it cuts out that nifty hole, but it does not cut out the front of your cap. I'm going to give you one last cool piece of extra training. If you want to make the caps have a rounded uh, underneath, make sure that you make this um, about 12 because you want to have room for your cap to still um, print from zero and make this 0.5 millimeters high. Or actually, I'm going to go one millimeter high. I'm going to turn it into a hole. And I'm going to center it on my item. So I align and center. And I align and center. Now, it's going to cut out a place for my finger to be. And I want to do that to both. So I'm going to do Control D. Nudge that little critter over. Do the same thing where I select that all. And align. Center, center. Which I did a pretty good job guessing. So now you've got cool spinners created that will actually have a spot for your finger to rest in as you spin it. Make sure once again that you named it correctly. And then don't forget to share your cool item on Thingiverse so that you can print it uh, through me or print it through the world. When it's on Thingiverse, hit C model. And make sure you publish the thing by clicking that button. You could add a picture of your item, but you don't have to. This is where it tells people about the thing, and I'm going to add this little video so that people will be able to even make it after it's done. But I've got to finish the video first. So I'm going to publish it at this point, and I'm going to edit it later to add the cool stuff, including a printout of the working spinner. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and please like, comment, and subscribe.
much and please like